Hey everybody, we're going to be learning about some physics today, some speed and motion. Oh wait, this is not. Don't nice. listen to him. Okay, so we are going to get started with our Thursday workout here. It's nice and sunny, so you can do your workout outside if you want to. We're not outside right now, though. Okay, so we're going to be on our back. Go ahead, you're going to hug those knees, and we are going to rock side to side. And you're gonna hug your right knee, your chest, left leg is out straight, and just nice and easy. We're gonna go side to side. See if you can make your hips pop. My right hip pop. <laughs> you probably can hear it. Sound effects. I'm gonna put popping sound effects to my joints. Right? Because my joints pop too. Just because I am human. <laughs> so we're gonna go one more each leg. And then we're going to have our right leg up straight. You're going to grab your hand, your hamstring or calf. Other legs out straight if you can. You're going to go side to side here. So if this hurts your back, you could have the leg you're not pulling to your chest down on the ground. Right? So you don't have to have both legs up in the air unless you want. Okay? So what we're going to add to this, you're going to do two pulls. You're going to pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. And remember, you're doing gentle pulls. So you're not trying to pull your hamstring out, right? We want happy hamstrings, not angry hamstrings. Okay, so we got about 15 seconds. Just going side to side. You're gonna go one more to each side. So here's one, here's two. We're gonna bend our knees. Feet are flat on the ground. My nose itches. And we're gonna bridge up and down, right? So exhale, pushing up. Inhale, coming back. Nice, easy, control motions. You don't have to go fast. Right, we're still waking up the old body, right? Because it's morning or afternoon, I guess, depending when you do this workout. Okay, so nice and controlled. In about 10 seconds, we're going to hold, and we're going to do our tiptoes. Okay, so on your next motion, you're going to press up. You're going to hold. You're going to go up and down on those tiptoes, right? Stretching out those ankles, waking up those calves. See if you can pop your ankles and toes. Nah. Right? You can see who does a better bridge, me or Chris. If your answer isn't me, you are, you are going to get it. So you're going to stay up on your tiptoes, and you're going to let your hips come up and down. So we're not letting our hips relax. We're kind of doing a pulse. If the tiptoes feels like too much to you, just keep your heels down. Right? There's no wrong way to warm up. The only wrong way to warm up is to not warm up at all. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so philosophical. Okay, so we got five seconds. Then you're going to press up, you're going to hold. And here we are, we're just hanging tight, right? You could probably eat lunch like this. Can you eat lunch in a bridge? I don't know. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. So we're going to relax our heels and hips down, and we're going to go into modified bicycle crunch. So you've got both feet down on the ground, you're going opposite elbow, opposite knee, and we're going side to side. So on this, you could stay up on those shoulder blades if you want to, okay? Or you could come down in between every single crunch, right? I like to stay up, so you should like it too, right? You have to do what I said, because I'm in charge now. Whoa, oh, oh. So we got 20 seconds. And then we're going to be done with this little doodad. Doodad, that's scientific Pilates stuff. You got 10 seconds. We're going to go one more on each side. So here's one. Here's two. You're going to relax. And we're going to go to our side. So it doesn't matter which side you start with, right? Unless you don't have two legs. I don't know. Okay, so starting with our top leg, we're going to kick our leg up and down. Up and down. Okay. Right. So nice controlled motions. You're pointing that toe. Right. We're engaging our full leg. Right. You're trying not to look slouchy. And in 10 seconds, we're going to pause. Right. Because we're still warming up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So other foot's above our ankle, and you are going to pulse nice and easy up and up. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. We love to pulse. So on this, make sure your leg isn't too high. If your leg's way, way high on this, it's just going to be harder, right? And you're warming up, and you don't need to make it any harder. 
because in a little bit, it will get harder. And you're gonna be happy. Okay, so we got 10 seconds and we're gonna do a circling motion. Five seconds. Okay, so now you're gonna do a forward circle. So you wanna go small controlled circles. The smaller you can go, the better because it's gonna make it burn more. And that's what we want. That's what we want. All right, we don't want it to be too easy. So don't go way, way large on these. If you go too large, you're just gonna look silly and it's gonna hurt your hip and back. Okay, reverse. So we're rewinding. Three. That's right, I know what rewind is. I'm not that young. I used to have to rewind my VHSs. And it was awful. It took forever. God. You got 10 seconds, then it takes forever. Be kind, rewind. That's right, see? Five seconds. And you're going to relax, and then we're going to do our other side. Right? So, once you step up, leg kicks up and down. And it's pretty simple from there. So, point of that toe, legs nice and straight. And you're thinking, like, ah, oh, yes, I love her warm ups. They're just so good. Right? If you don't burn during your warm up, this, that's not going to be very good for your workout. Right? You got to warm up your body. So, right now, you should be feeling warm. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, in 10 seconds, we pulse. And we got all kinds of fun stuff we get to do today. All right? We're going to do some planks and glutes and all the good stuff. So, now we are pulsing. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Happy pulsing. Mm -hmm. And we're pointing our toe. There, he's pointing his toe now, too. Okay, we got 15 seconds until we do our circles. All right, and then we're almost done with the warm-up. We just got one more little thing. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, one more, two more, whatever. Then you're gonna do circles. So small little circles, try to go forward. Try to make the best circle you can. If you're not making a circle, I don't care. All right? He told me your last workout was too easy, so I gotta amp this one up. He said, Mary. People are thinking it's too easy. You better amp it up. So if you think this is hard, it's his fault. And you're going to reverse. Ooh, whew. Actually, I think these feel kind of fun. You got 10 seconds. I'm going to put a marker on my foot. I'm going to draw circles. I'll post how well they are. Maybe I could spell my name next time. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You're going to relax. Okay. We're going to be on our hands and our knees here. So we're gonna stretch out our shoulders here a little bit. So you wanna start with your hands right underneath your shoulders. You're just reaching your arm out straight and back. Okay, so on this, you wanna make sure you're looking straight down. As you lift your arm, make sure your body is not turning and twisting. If your body turns and twists, you know what that means? You have tight shoulders. Right, nobody wants tight shoulders. So you got 10 seconds here. You're gonna go one more to each side, okay? And now what you're gonna do is we're gonna open up wide. So you're gonna turn, open up wide, look at those fingertips, you'll come back down, go to the other side. So now your body can twist, right? We're waking up our spine, okay? And you wanna take your time. So go at a speed that feels good to you, right? You don't have to keep up with me. You can turn, twist, reach, and go really slow. I don't care. But we got 10 seconds to go. Okay, and we're gonna go one more to each side. Here's one. Here's two. Okay, now we're gonna go into an alternating bird dog. So we're just going opposite arm, opposite leg, and you're gonna alternate going side to side. So take your time with these. Try to stretch out as much as you possibly can. Right, you wanna make sure that you're extending that arm and leg to your full range of motion, okay? So your goal is to try to have your leg even with your hip, your arm, even with your shoulder. We got 15 seconds, and then we're gonna do a hold, okay? Control, control, control. 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go one more to each side. Then you're gonna go right arm, left leg, hang out tall, and you're gonna hold right there, so core is tight, look straight down, don't look at me. Leg is even with that hip, arm is even with that shoulder. If you wanna test your balance, close your eyes. See what happens, you've got five seconds. 
Okay, arm and leg come down. Here, long left arm, right leg, extend out, lift and hold. Okay, so core is staying nice and tight. Okay, close your eyes if you want to see if you'll tip over. I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to have footage of me tipping over. You got five seconds. You got three, two, one. You're going to relax. Okay, grab yourself some water. And then I'm going to explain to you what we got going on. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a plank progression. All right, so that's just fancy talk for saying that we're going to be adding on to this plank as we go. In between each segment, though, we have a Superman. Pretty awesome, right? So your first motion, you're going to be on your knees no matter what, okay? So you're going to start on your hands and knees. You want to walk your hands as far forward as you can. So you're going to go forward, forward, drop those hips like you're holding a plank. Your arms come back, back. You're going forward, forward, back, back. Okay, go for it. So make sure when those arms come forward, you're dropping those hips down so you're engaging your core like you're in a plank, right? So you don't want to do multiple arm movements. You just want to go as far as you can and back, okay? If you were feeling really crazy, you could go on your toes. But listen, here, we're going to be doing this for a long time, right? I don't want to go on my toes, but the option's out there for you. Okay, we got 10 seconds, and then we're just going to add a little bit to this just to complicate the move. So let's go about two more here. So here's one. Here is two. So what you're going to do here, your right arm is going to come forward. You're going to lift your left leg up. You come back, your arm comes back. Left arm comes forward, right leg kicks up. Okay, so same thing. You're trying to reach forward, drop those hips like you're lifting in a plank, and you're just lifting your opposite leg. Right? So it's kind of like our bird dog we just did. Okay, again, if you want to do this on your toes, I'm not stopping you. But just remember, we are adding from here. Okay? So this is kind of like our base support right here. Right? We're building our foundation into this plank. Because it's going to get more fun as we go. Right? And you want to try to see each time. See how far you can reach that arm. The farther you go, the harder it gets. If you put weight on that arm, you bet it gets even harder to come back. Right? You're going nice and controlled. If you need to modify, just do a smaller motion. Right? You don't have to do anything crazy. But you do have 20 seconds left. Okay? So nice and controlled. Every time you reach far forward, your core wakes up for you. How cool is that? Your core already knows what to do. Okay? You have 10 seconds. Nice and controlled. Let's go one more to each set. So here's one. Here is two. Okay, so our next thing that we're going to do here, we're going to do super hands. So we're going to be on our stomach, and it's just going to be your plain old regular super hand. So what you're going to do, arms and legs are out straight. You're going to lift up, squeeze, and hold for about two seconds, and come back. Go ahead. So lift, hold, squeeze, and back. Relaxing down in between each one. If you need to modify, just do opposite arm, opposite leg, and you'll always have something down on the ground, okay? So you're just trying to lift, see if you can get the sternum to face the wall in front of you. Okay, and we're trying to hold and come back, right? Don't just flop down to the ground. Okay, we got five seconds. Okay, now you're gonna lift, you're gonna hold. So try to lift up as high as you can. Point those arms, point those toes, squeeze everything through. You have 10 seconds. Point and squeeze. Try to make it as fun as you can. You have five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, so this next plank, you can either be on your hands or you can be on your elbows. Okay, so I'm going to show you the motion. I'll show you how to modify. So I'm doing it on my elbows. You're going to have your legs out straight. You would raise up and raise up. So you're trying to raise up as high as you can. If you modify, do one leg at a time and raise up. And I'm going to tell you when to switch. Okay? So hands or elbows, whatever you prefer. Ready? And go. So take your time. It's a slow, controlled motion with those legs. 
Okay, controlling as you can. If you're modifying, switch legs. Right, go right into that other side. See how high you can raise your leg. You got 10 seconds, five seconds. You got three, here's two. Get one more kick in there, there's one, and relax. Okay, so going back down to our Superman, okay? We're gonna hold our Superman, and we're gonna add a rowing motion to it. So you're up high in your Superman the whole time, you're gonna pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades, nice and easy come back. Okay, nice and controlled, right? Try to stay up tall. If you need to modify, you can come down in between each one. Right, and lift up, or you can have one foot down on the ground, okay? Squeeze those shoulder blades, lift up off, total. You got 10 seconds until we hold. Okay, you got five seconds. Okay, one more good row. Come back, let's hold, point everything through. Try to lift up as high as you can, squeeze those shoulder blades. You have 10 seconds until we go back to our plank. Right, we got five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to that plank, but we're gonna add to it, okay? So I'm gonna show you this move, I'll show you a few times before we start, just so you can get the hang of it, okay? So you're on your knees again, so what you're gonna do, you're stepping out wide, wide, your arms come back, back, you're gonna be on your toes, you're gonna to get your knees off the ground, you'll step out, step back. Okay, then your knees come in, so you're going out, out, back, back, knees are off, you step out, step out, come in, come in. So you're just alternating between your arms and legs, okay? Go ahead. So you're going out with your arms, drop those hips, hands come back, get those knees off, you step out into that plank, you come back, Knees come down, and we're alternating right there. So on this, take your time, right? Try to do the best you can. And if you need to modify, right? Just don't come up off those knees and alternating tapping those legs out, okay? So the cool thing is, is we're doing this for a minute. The other cool thing is, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna add to this move. Right, I wonder what we're gonna add. You have five seconds. Okay, so what you're gonna do here next, go ahead and finish the one you're on. Okay, so same thing here. What you're gonna do, your arm comes forward, forward, you come down into a push up, you come up, arm comes back, back, and you're stepping out, stepping out. Right, so on that push up, you could keep your knees down, or you could lift up onto your toes, do your push up come back and come in, right? So you're just adding a push-up into this position. If you wanna be extra fancy, you can add a push-up also when your legs step back, right? So you'd be here, you'd be up, your legs step back, right? You'd do a push-up there, right? So you can do both variations, right? We'll make Chris do both push-ups, right? Because remember, he wants to make the workout harder, do something. I'm not gonna do both push-ups, right? Okay, you got about 20 seconds. Okay, hanging on to that form. Remember, take your time. If the push-up feels like too much, just don't add it in, right? It's that simple. Okay, you got 10 seconds. You're doing a great job. Go ahead and do one more complete cycle. We're going forward, forward, push-up, arms come back. Legs step back, okay, and then you'll relax. Okay, grab yourself some water, right? Because we're done with that circuit. So our next step that we have here, we're gonna do a glute and a core burnout. Mm. So we'll do a glute move, a core move, a glute move, a core move, and we finish with another fun glute core mix. Huh. Okay, so first move we're gonna do, you're gonna be up on your hands. If your wrists bother you, go to your elbows. We're starting with a fire hydrant. Your right leg is just gonna come wide, right back. 
Okay, head's not hanging down. You're holding on to that form. Okay, and you're just relaxing with it, right? We do this during warm up all the time. We can handle it. And we got 15 seconds until we add to this exercise. Okay, you got 10 seconds. Try to make sure your head's not hanging down. I busted them. Did you see it? I got them. You got five seconds. Okay, right leg stays wide. You're gonna kick and come back, right? So you're just keeping that leg out there and you're kicking, okay? Not much to it. Make sure you're holding on to that posture. Head's still looking down. Don't watch that leg. You don't have to look at me. You've got 15 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds to go. You're almost there. You have five seconds. Go ahead and do one more. Relax. We're going right into our left side. I'm turning so that you can see my left leg. All right? But I can't see the timer. Uh-oh. Okay. So legs come wide and back. Make sure that your head is looking down. Right? Mostly I'm in so I would have kicked Chris. Right? My legs are just so long, I probably would have kicked him right in the face. You got 10 seconds. Head's not hanging down. Looking straight down, though, right? Not like this. <laughs> okay, keep that leg wide. We kick him back. Kick him back. We kick him back. We kick and come back. Right? You're doing a great job. Point that toe. Hey, glutes, how are you? That's what they're saying to you. Okay, we got 15 seconds. He's kicking our wall. He's going to leave a hole in it. That's how powerful he's getting. 10 seconds. You're almost there. You have five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay. So go into our core move. You're going to be on your back. Okay. And you have a few options of how you can do this. So we're going to do what's called. 10 pulses and five crunches. So on this, if your back hurts, you're gonna keep one foot down. Okay, if not, you got both legs in tabletop. So you're gonna pull forward, you're gonna do 10 fast pulses with your arms. Right from there, you'll crunch forward for five. On the crunches, if your neck hurts, just do your 10 pulses, hands can come behind your head. But we're gonna come back in between every single move and repeat that. Okay, go in five seconds here. I'll count you through if you want to keep up on my count. Ready? And go. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. Crunches one, two, three, four, five. Coming back. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four, five. Coming back and repeating it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four, five. Coming back and repeating. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four, five. We're repeating. We got ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four. Five, keep mine going, 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four, five. Coming back and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, three, four, five. And again, 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunch one, two, Three, four, and five. And you're gonna relax. And Chris might disappear. So our next move that we're gonna do is called a diagonal kick. So you're on your hands and your knees. Okay, you're gonna start with your right leg across to the left side. It's gonna stay straight, you're gonna kick forward. Right, so you're trying to kick as far forward as you can. Right, head's not hanging down, go for it. So you're kicking and back. Diagonal kick. Your goal is to see if you can get that leg even with that right hip. Why not? Right? See how much of a power kick you got. Roundhouse kick. Pow! Right? If you make sound effects, you get better results on this stuff. I don't know if anyone ever told you that. I say that all the time. Okay, nice and controlled. Right? Every time you kick, you're going to rip that oblique. 
How cool is that? Like super cool, Mary. Okay, you're doing a great job. We got 30 seconds left. You better not kick me. He's trying to kick me. You're doing a great job. Woo! I'm a burning. We got 20 seconds. Almost there. Woo! 15. Keep on maintaining. Taking your time. Two seconds. Keep that leg straight. Five seconds. Let's do two more. Here's one. Here's two. And relax. We're switching sides. Right into it. Left leg starts diagonal. You kick and come back. Kick and come back. Kick and come back. I should have put my mat so I could kick him. Mm -hmm. Okay, leg is staying nice and straight. Right? Remember, you want to try to kick that leg as far forward as you can while keeping that core nice and tight. Okay, so you don't have to look at me. Right? Hold that posture. Look at your mat. You got 30 seconds left. What? 30 seconds? 30 seconds and two moves left. Okay, you're almost there. 20 seconds now. Woo, hit that kick. Ram pound some. You got 10 seconds. I got it. You got five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So, we got two moves left. Your next move is going to be the Pilates 100. So what that means is we're going to do 100 pulses. Okay? So you have a few variations to pick from here. I'm going to show you each one. Then I will count those 100 pulses for us all together. So option number one is you would have one leg down, one leg up. You'd pulse right here. Option number two, tabletop legs. Pulse here. Option number three. Legs are out straight, you pulse here. Or, this is what I'm gonna do, you're up tall, we pulse here, right? Chris has to do that too. Okay, so I'm gonna take a sip of water before I have to count to 100. Because counting and breathing is hard. Talking and breathing is a little more natural for me, I think. All right, so pick your variation. Are you ready? You sure are. Aim. Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Whew, hard to breathe in half. So our last move we have here, we're gonna do a single leg bridge, and you're gonna do an Arizona ab with it. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna keep your right leg down, your left leg's in tabletop for 30 seconds, we'll press up and down. Then you're gonna hold your bridge, your hand will push into your leg as hard as it possibly can, your leg pushes back. That sounds fun. Ready? And go. So we're just pressing up and down. If you need to modify, just keep both feet down and press up and down, right? Your hips get to come down every single time. Okay, we got 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Right, we just now started to sweat. I'm sweating. I'll always be sweating. Okay, so press up, you're gonna hold. Left hand's pushing against that quad. Your quad is pushing back and you hold that bridge. So you've got to make this as mean as you possibly can. Push so much that your leg is shaking. My leg is shaking. This is not easy, right? But I'm gonna talk you through it. You have 15 seconds. Fight with your arm, fight with your leg. Make it as mean as you can, 10 seconds to go, right? We've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax right into the other side. Left leg down, right leg up, push it up and back. This is our last move of the day. 
You've got less than a minute left of your workout. Okay, you're doing a great job. Pressing up and back. Pressing up and back. Both feet can be down on the ground if you need it. Okay, you got 10 seconds until we do our grand finale here. Five seconds. You're doing a great job. Okay, so you're gonna press up, you're gonna hold. Right hand pushes into your right leg. Right leg is pushing back. Make it as mean as you can. Really make that right leg fight. Don't let your arm give up. You've gotta make it mean, right? This is up to you. You've got to push as hard as you can. I can't do it for you, but you've got to make it lean. Work your core, work your bridge, make your legs shake. You've got 10 seconds to go, right? My leg is trembling. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And there you go. There's your Thursday workout. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, Friday at 10 a.m. Enjoy.